so we have learned return to scale and what we have seen that it is defined for we can talk about a production function exhibits constant return to scale or increasing return to scale or decreasing return to scale if it satisfies some condition over the complete range of all the input variables okay but what if you know in a sense we are talking about a global the global phenomena for in the context of this production function okay but sometime it happens that one of these phenomena is exhibited over a small range of input values and some other over some other range of input values so what we are going to do rather than defining it globally we will define it locally and for that we will talk the term is elasticity of scale so what's happening let's look at it we started with q that is output it's a function of capital and labor and what we said that we will scale up the operation and how can we scale up the operation let's say if we take a t variable that is a scalar okay t greater than 1 that's what we will stick to t greater than or let's say just t right now t so what we are talking about it scaling up operation means that instead of using k comma l we are using t k comma t l not remember not t 1 t 2 but t k and t l because remember what did we say that all the factors of production or all the inputs should be increased in the same proportion so it means as soon as we have our initial point k naught and l naught we can vary k naught and l naught in a particular way and that way is given by this okay so what we can say that now q is a function of t in this particular case remember the current operation is l and k okay let's say this is the current operation we cannot move in this direction or in this direction what we have to do we have to stick to this straight line we can either move in this direction or in this direction okay scaling up means that moving in this direction scaling down means moving in this direction so that is represented by q of t q is is now a function of t and what is t i can say t is scale of operation okay. is it clear yes sir so i can say t is equal to 1 means current current level of operation t greater than 1 means we are scaling up the operation fine and t less than 1 we are scaling down is it clear fine so now what we can say what we are basically interested that what happens what happens if we move on this line let us say earlier here we are l k naught l naught whenever we talked about return to scale we talked about globally but now we are talking about what is happening at this particular level of operation and that is l naught k naught so if we move rather than worrying about the overall range let us worry about what is happening at this point and we increase t by small very very small amount okay let us say that t is being increased here at that this point 1 percent and then output if output goes up by more than 1 percent what can we say that locally locally at this point it is exhibiting increasing return to scale but in a way it is uh, wrong to say because we have already defined increasing return to scale to be true when such kind of thing is exhibited at complete range not just at this point but at all the points 
for all the values. So, to do that we use another term elasticity of scale and how can we figure out rather than talking about what we can say what we are interested in it change in q with respect to with respect to t. So, again remember the logic that we gave earlier when we talked about elasticity we rather than talking in absolute term what we can do we can talk in the proportional term. So, what would be the proportional change? This is the proportional change in quantity, quantity. with respect to proportional change in t and this is what is defined as elasticity of scale. So, let me write it here. I can if you want to use delta instead of d. proportional rate of change in q with respect to proportional change in t and of course, q here is given as function of t. This entity is defined as elasticity of scale and this can of course, but where will we evaluate it? Of course, it would be if we start here, start at the original point and then we start comparing here and here these two points then we will not we are not doing it locally to do it locally it means if we want to evaluate it at this point what do we mean that this entity should be evaluated at t is equal to 1. So, this is the complete definition of elasticity of scale. So, can you repeat that t equals to 1 part? Go back here what is t is equal to 1? Current. Current. We, if we evaluate it at t something greater than 1, let us say if we talk about t greater than 1, so then we are here and then what would it explain? This entity would explain if t, let us say you start with t is equal to 2 and we are talking about change in t. Okay? So, where will you move? From this point to this point probably. So, you are not talking, you are not talking about this rate of change locally, you are talking about again some point away from the current operation. How did we start? That what is happening at the current point? What is the rate of change in quantity with res respect to rate of change in scale? So, that is why we are taking t is equal to 1, because t is equal to 1 represents current operation. Is it clear? Yes, sir. And here then we can say of course, t is if it is great equal to let us take an example, let us take an example to evaluate, let us take Cobb Douglas function, this is elasticity to scale fine, let us take a Cobb Douglas function q is equal to let us take k to the power a l to the power b. In this case local and global does not matter because Cobb Douglas has this property, okay. but we are evaluating elasticity of scale fine. Okay. So, let us see what happens. First, we have to make it a function of t. So, it means t k to the power a t l to the power b or in other word t to the power a plus b. Fine this can also be written here as d l n q of t with respect to d l n t evaluated at t is equal to 1 fine. So, let us take log I am not going to decompose it, I am going to leave it as it is, there is no need and differentiate it with respect to l n t. L n t. And what do we get? A plus b. A plus b. So, now we can say locally Cobb Douglas function exhibits 
increasing return to scale when a plus b is greater, greater than, than 1. When a plus b is equal to 1, constant. it represents, it gives, exhibits constant return to scale. And when a plus b is less than 1, then it exhibits decreasing, decreasing return to scale. So, t is equal to 1 is clear. Here, of course, we did not get it as a function of t, but sometime we may get it as a function of t. Fine? Okay. So, we can get rid of t by evaluating at t is equal to 1. Fine? Okay. That brings an end to this topic.